Hi there, this is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about Microsoft PC Manager version 3. The latest version of PC Manager. We are going to check what are the improvements, enhancements Microsoft made in this new tool which is in public beta at the moment and there are new capturing options, new screenshot options, voice recording options etc in this apart from the boosting capabilities and there are some enhancements in the boosting capabilities as well. So let's go through the deep dive overview of Microsoft PC Manager version 3. Don't skip this video, let's go ahead and check this out. So let's check Microsoft PC Manager version 3. What are the new things available with version 3 of PC Manager? We have checked the PC Manager version 1 in the previous video. You would be able to see that video if you click on the i button in YouTube over here. So in this video we are going to check what is new in Microsoft PC Manager and then what is toolbox in PC Manager? What are the functionalities you are going to get with toolbox what are the additional automation to boost performance of the PC what are the additional automations available to boost the performance of the PC and then we'll go through deep dive demo of each functionality of Microsoft PC Manager version 3. First of all, you will be excited to see this UI change. The menu is changed to this side and there's a home page button protection etc etc and over here you would be able to see startup timeline. It is much more user friendly UI and over here you would be able to see set smart boost. That is the automation I was talking about. We will see all these details live in the demo. Also we talked about toolbox in the previous slide. These are the options which are available with a toolbox option over here. This is the new toolbox option and there is a toolbar also available on the desktop if you want. You can switch on this and then you can take the screenshot. You can go to screenshot folder. You can do recording. Captions you can do. You can open up notepad calculator, web tools also available that is also pretty useful in some scenarios especially for specific set of uses some of these are useful. So as I mentioned it is much cleaner and navigation menu, automatic schedule boost options, there are some bug fixes and performance page. of the tool has increased a bit. I have also mentioned about some of the drawbacks of the boost option here, websites etc. So you need to be careful about that also. This is not only with version 3 but it was there with version 1 also. Now let's directly go into demo and check what is there. Let's check the latest version of PC manager over here. This is 3.2 version of PC Manager and in the previous video we have seen the 1.0 version of PC Manager. So this is the latest version. As you can see look and feel of PC Manager is different now. This is public beta and you have home screen over here and then protection, storage, apps, toolbox. This toolbox is new. We will go through the details now. You can see settings over here and even feedback is here. In the previous version settings icon was over here. In this version this is most modern or latest version of PC manager and you can see the settings icon over here and even feedback icon. Startup time in the home page itself so you don't need to look anywhere and it is user friendly or there is more visibility in this startup time you can see the OS, the C drive, free space details etc over here. In progress apps 30 apps. There are 1.9 gigabytes of temporary files over here and 72 percentage of memory is in use. If I click on boost button over here probably it will kill some of the processes which are not in use and it will remove the temporary files and that might help to boost 
some of the performance of the PC. Free up your resources, set Smart Boost, that is another option added to the latest version of PC Manager. Let's click on that and see what are the options available over here. Boost Settings, Smart Boost, PC Manager will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM or there are 1 GB of temporary files. This is off at the moment. Let's switch this on and then it will automatically delete some of the files and end some of the processes which are not in use. So this is really good for budget laptops, desktops, etc. And there are some shortcut settings available over here. As you can see, hold control shift or alt, then press A to Z, 1 to 9 or F1 to F12 to perform operation. Custom block of pop-up management. This is the default shortcut, control F2. Shortcut key registration failed. Please try using different key combination. That is what it says. So let's try a different key. Shift 1 as the shortcut key that got saved. So Shift 1 as the shortcut key as you can see over here. And there are some general settings. Start PC Manager automatically when I sign in to Windows. Easy access to experience latest features. That is also off. I'm going to switch that on and see what is happening. Auto update and language is another option. You can see Chinese language over here and then English also. Current version you can see that is 3.2.2 and the antivirus version is also there 4.18. So these are the general settings available from this button. The important thing over here is Smart Boost. That is something you need to test whether it is not deactivating any necessary services for you or not. So you need to a lot of testing before you enable this Smart Boost option because last time I have seen some slowness in the device. Now going back to home page is easy. Earlier it was difficult in the previous version it was not this user friendly but this home page is now gives better experience easily organize your apps and windows that is another message over there you can use snap groups and desktops message tells us and it will redirect to the windows tips and tricks web page now it is 2 GB. Let's try to boost it by clicking on boost button over here. Performance of Windows 11 PC is getting boosted now and you can see the temporary files reduced from 1 gigabytes to 102 megabytes. It is zero temporary files. Memory usage has gone down 70 plus percentage to 51 now. So that is good. Now let's go to the protection and check whether there is any difference over here. Taskbar repair is another interesting option. As you can see over here, enable select taskbar items to repair. Repair taskbar and restore default taskbars. No toolbar enabled. Enable default features. I have disabled the search box and I have not enabled both of these. It is asking me to enable it. I don't want to do that but if you want to do it you can just click on repair button that will restore both these icons in the taskbar search box and Microsoft Store on taskbar. So that is very user friendly if you are not familiar with settings apps how to enable it etc etc now again i got confused because there's a back button over here to go back to protection main menu this is where we started there's a microsoft defender antivirus scan available over here and then windows update is here browser protection is there so let's check restore default apps it is already set to default web pages microsoft edge office documents microsoft office and PDF Microsoft Edge shortcut button over here to launch the settings apps set defaults for application page. Now let's go back and if you want you can scan it. So scanning is going on now depending on the performance it can take some time. It is checking key system locations, startup apps, browser extensions, frequently used apps, background services, hardware drivers, miscellaneous. These options are same I think as the last version. 
version no threads found the scanning is good now as you can see so let's go back by clicking on this button you can see windows update option and there is an update available as you can see let's click on that and check what is it security intelligence update that is downloading virus definition got installed now let's go back again now we have covered all the options in this particular page allow threads is again a shortcut it will open up the windows security application you would be able to see the threads and etc in the storage you would be able to see deep cleanup option scan option and manage large files option storage sense option these are almost the same thing as the last version there's not much change over here let's scan see what is happening over here you can see 801 mb that is the only thing available you can see delivery optimization details are also there going to click on proceed to delete all those temporary files clean up that means it says freed 145.2 megabytes drive space and now let's go back to large files and see whether the preference getting stored or not these are the files which are more than 1 gigabytes this shows in file explorer as you can see 186 items are here let's try to add additional files maybe and check what is happening so it is same because there is no picture that is more than one gigabyte so this is very useful option let's go back and in storage sense again the shortcut is there so there's not much over there i don't want to go into this and show you the shortcut that has explained in the last video if I go to apps menu from here you would be able to see process management there are 30 processes running and then startup as we have seen in the home page it is two seconds these two are shortcuts Microsoft store shortcut is new it was not there in the 1.0 version of PC manager so let's go to process management check what are the options available it says all the memory details are also available here edge is taking more memory and then whatsapp microsoft teams is also taking lot of memory and video recording software is not taking much of memory that is interesting brave browser is good onedrive outlook all are good whatsapp and microsoft edge are taking memory let's go back what are the startup application details you can see so only three things you can see over here there are some differences turn off these applications if needed this is the recommended option from pc manager it was not there now recommended keeping on that is microsoft onedrive teams onenote and then system internal screen magnifier so these are recommended applications as per pc manager enable as startup application the segregation recommended application turn off these application options let's go to toolbox menu and check what is available there so toolbox is one of the great addition to pc manager as you can see you can enable toolbar option on the desktop if you want by toggling the switch to enable so let's try that this is the toolbar 58 percentage you can see cut option is there notepad option is there edge quick link option is there settings option is there so this is really nice toolbar you can take the screen screenshot if you want screenshot folder is there this is where the screenshot will be stored the default screenshot option these are just shortcuts actually captions calculator edge quick links bing translator currency converter bing msn all these options are available over here so this is a really a good addition so that you can get all these from the toolbar itself if you want to quickly take a screenshot and then go to open the screenshot folder etc and then if you want to record your voice you can do that so this is really nice addition to pc manager latest version that is 3.2 so let's go back to home page you can see we are back in the home page where we started there's an interesting stats over here cleaned 30424 terabytes and 7788 carbon emission pc manager helped 
with go green initiative it cleaned up 30424 terabytes of space and then 7788t carbon emissions so if i click on this link that will take me to this particular page where you would be able to see microsoft pc manager sustainable digital life carbon emission website microsoft pc manager sustainable digital life pc manager is committed to protecting everyone's digital life etc etc carbon emission reduction details with the help of pc manager that's really impressive i would say you can see this that is 30000 terabytes of space cleaned globally and you can see the different options i will provide all these link to the description of the video so do check that out now that we have seen all the details about microsoft pc manager version 3 you have lot of new exciting options in pc manager along with the boosting capabilities of the windows 11 performance go ahead and try this out i have seen some issues with some of the websites after running the performance boosting so be careful about that if you have opened multiple multiple tabs in edge browser and if you run this pc manager tool clicked on boost button to improve the performance then there could be some issues uh, with the display of some sites until you refresh it again so be aware of that hopefully this video was helpful to you thank you all for watching see you around